Good morning, students. Uh, in my previous video, I just discussed about the structure of an anther. We completed the different stages also, right? And different stages we started with the sporogenous tissue, and then we finally we came to the how the microspores are formed from the single uh, sporogenous tissue uh, cell. Now, today, uh, now I am going to tell you something about the structure of this microspore. So the structure of a pollen, or we can say the microspore. It is a double layered structure. The outer is a thin walled layer and that is called as antine inner and the outer layer is a, it is a, it is not a, a smooth, this is going to be little roughy and you know what is this? This is called as exine and if you remember, I told you about the sporopollen, right? So, this exine, the inner layer is the enzyme and this outer layer is called as the exine. And here the nucleus is present with the dense cytoplasm, right? So, this exine, what this exine, from where it is secreted, again you have to remember is that this exine is secreted from the sporopollenin and from where this sporopollenin is secreted again from the innermost layer the tapetum so you have to remember that the you know tapetum layer hai ye sporopollenin secrete karti hai right aur yehi sporopollenin pollenin hai jo exine जो आउटर वॉल है इस माइक्रोस्पोर जो फाइनली बनता है इसकी जो बाहर की वॉल है स्पोरोपोलिनिन की बनती है और ये स्पोरोपोलिनिन जो प्रोटीन है ये टेपेटम सेल्स हमें देते हैं राइट सो दिस लेयर इज कॉल्ड एज एग्जाइन एंड द इनर लेयर व्हिच इज थिन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एंटाइन एंड वन मोर थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज दैट लेट मी डिफरेंशिएट इट दैट एंटाइन that is, it is formed of cellulose, right? And it is a thin layered wall. And exine, it is having a covering of sporopollenin. And you know that sporopollenin is the world highest resistant uh, protein known till now, right? It is very resistive to withstand any kind of adverse or the uh, high temperature or high acid type uh, conditions. So, coming back to the structure again, this is the nucleus. And you know what I am drawing again, this is this very structure, the structure of a microspore, the male gametophyte. Again, why it is called as male gametophyte? I am going to tell you also this thing. So, this was about the enzyme and the X and the enzyme. So, this is the structure of a uh, of a microspore or a pollen. Now, what is going to happen is that the nucleus in this uh, microspore, this is going to divide, right? So, what is going to happen? This is the in time and outer is the exine. Okay? Right? So, what again you must, uh, you must uh, notice that I am leaving a gap over here. Right? The, the, the whole uh, microspore is not surrounded by exine. So, this is called as dull pore. Right? So, these, uh, these portions where these curves we can say where the exine is missing. Exine is missing, it means no sporopollenin is going to be present over there, right? So, what is going to happen, coming again to the division of the nucleus is going to take place and it is going to form the two, right, the two gametes. Now, these two gametes, what is going to again to happen that first the, uh, first the nucleus is dividing, that is karyokinosis is Kinesis is going to take place, that is the division of nucleus and then the cytokinesis. But 
Kdu can assist the division of uh, this is the equational division and the two the nucleus which are formed they are equal. But cytokinesis uh, the the division of cytoplasm is not equal. Why? The upper part the first cell upper part is going to have a, a dense cytoplasm or a more content of a cytoplasm as compared to the this cell the second cell. Right? So you can see that microspore structure, well it was having one nucleus, then it undergo division and it is having two gametes, right? The two nucleus. The first kind of a cell which is having a dense cytoplasm and a nucleus that is called as vegetative cell, right? And vegetative cell, again you have to remember is, that this cell is not going to play any role in reproduction, right? That this is, the second cell is known as generative cell. And this is the cell which will generate the germ tube or the pollen tube. Now, this is, uh, all these things are happening inside the microspore. This is the enzyme, okay? outermost enzyme, inner enzyme, right? Now, what is going to happen is, this is the two-cell stage of a microspore or a pollen. In 60% of angiosperms, 60% of flowering plant, the pollen or the, uh, like, if there is a rupture here, so two-cell stage ke baad hi jo hai, ye it will fall, right? But what then in 40% of 40% of flowering plants? In those cases, that this generative cell is again going to divide mitotically, and again it is going to produce one more. Uh, one more thing you have to know is that this uh, in generative cell, this layer which surrounds the generative cell, this is again formed of callos. Right? As the development is going to take place, the callose will dissolve from here and it will form a spindle type cell. So, this is a spindle having one gamete and this is called a generative cell. So, it will seem that this cell is floating in the vegetative cell. Right? Now, this generative cell can again divide and it can produce more gametes. So, how it is going to be? This is going to be like, this is the enzyme. Okay? This is the enzyme. Outermost. So, this is going to be the enzyme. Right? So, this was the vegetative cell and now what is going to happen? This is generative cell is again going to divide and again what? Two types of cells are, form, uh, are forming. So, this is a three-celled stage. So, in 40% of angiosperms, the pollen is, uh, the pollen fall at a three-celled stage. Three-celled stage. So, what is going to happen that this here no exine is present. The, at these pores no exine is present. It means no sporopollenin is present over here. So, what is going to happen is that this uh, generative cell will give rise to germ tube or we can say the pollen tube and the pollen tube will develop and it will carry the male gamete and it will fall on stigma and further reproduction will take place. So, you have to remember is, this is the structure of a pollen. Entine and exine. Exine is made up of, is a very thick wall made up of a protein sporopollenin. Entine is a thin wall and it is made up of cellulose. Again, the, this is going to divide. After division, two gametes are formed. One cell seems to be floating as this layer is of cellulose. It gets dissolved from the sides. And this generative cell seems to be floating in the 
vegetative cell again vegetative cell is not going to play any role in reproduction that is why it is called as vegetative cell generative cell is the main cell which is going to take part in veg in sexual reproduction this at this stage only the pollen may fall right but this is happening in 60% of angiosperms but in 40% of angiosperms this generative cell will again divide and it will again form two gametes and this two cell stage is transformed into three cell stage and at this stage the pollen may fall and this is this occur in 40% of angiosperm so in this we completed the structure the structure of a flower then we completed the structure of a stamen the process of microsporogenesis the structure of microspore in detail next we are going to and again you have to remember is that pollen is a male gametophyte so we are over with the male gametophyte this is the, the these are the structure of a male gametophyte right the outer and the inner wall and all so in my next video we are going to start with the next topic thank you students